Hello everyone, Professor Doe here. I received a number of emails and some posts on the discussion board regarding my lab and mastering registration. And so hopefully that this video tutorial will help you get started with that and get you uh, registered for those resources. In my class this semester, we will be using the self-study resources, which is something that wasn't made clear in some of the instructions. So hopefully this video makes that clear. All right, so this is their website. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is their website here. This is the Pearson website, and you are, again, registering for those self-study resources. And I will provide the link to these steps on um, in the description in for the video or in the Canvas or LMS announcement, Blackboard, Canvas, whatever. So I'll make that a link available for you guys. But this is how, essentially what you're doing, okay? So if we look at these instructions, it's not actually as detailed as, as I would like, and this video is going to help resolve that. So it says here, go to the mastering website, and then you're going to click register now, and then you're going to select register for self-study access only. Now these steps are miss these steps provided by Pearson. There are a couple that are missing, and so this so please pay attention to what I'm about to do. All right. So the first step here is we need to go to the PearsonMyLabAndMastering.com. So go ahead and click that. I opened up a new tab. And you're taken to this page right over here. Now, what's, what the instructions don't tell you is that you have to go to the appropriate my, uh, Pearson and my lab, I'm sorry, my lab and mastering website. And so what you're going to need to do is you need to click this browse button here in order to browse by discipline. Okay, so if I were to make this website small again, it would say browse by discipline. So please click that. And then click on biology and microbiology because the textbook that we're using for my class is the essential biology from Campbell sixth edition so you have to go to the biology part okay click that and then you have these three icons in here obviously we need to go to mastering biology so click on learn more this is where you need to go and then guess what you are taken to a page that looks almost identical to the original main page. And you pretty much can't even tell the difference unless you read the top of the page. This one here says biology. Okay. All right. And then you will click register now as a student. So click this button here. And then you are taken to this page. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, as I'm zooming in, it gives you these instructions but you need to scroll down some more and register for self-study access only. Okay, now obviously if in a future semester or if you're with another instructor and you have assignments that are linked to Canvas and to your grade, then you need to click OK Register Now. But for my class, we don't have that. So you just click on the self-study access only. And then you are taken to this page and it says mastering is required for the course. We don't have a course ID. Those of you guys who've seen my Canvas shell, we don't have that. So you go over here to the right side, and then you click on this. Mastering is not my room. Click on in the US or Canada. You will likely have an access code that came along with the purchase of your textbook. So go ahead and click yes, I have an access code. Okay. If you don't, then you'll be asked to purchase one. But just click yes. You need to find our textbook. So let's go ahead and click show all. The textbook that we are using, once again, is the Essentials Biology by uh, Campbell, and that is the sixth edition. So scroll all the way down, all the way down until you see it. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. This one, Campbell Essential Biology by Simon uh, Dickey and Hogan and Reese. This is the book that you want to click. That's the sixth edition. You selected this, so we'll go ahead and click next. The, uh, does your access code says that it comes with an e-text? Uh, mark the appropriate answer based upon your purchase. I'm just going to go ahead and assume yes, and then click next, and then you are taken to the license agreement and policy page. Read all of this, and then click accept. And then now you need to log in with your uh, Pearson account. Do you have a Pearson Education account or not? Click yes or no. You'll be asked to either create one or log into one if you have one from a, a, a previous class that uses a mastering physics or mastering biology or something. And then you enter in that access code. 
Okay, and that's it. And I believe that from this moment on, you will be able to move forward with the registration process. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully that you found this video very helpful. Uh, let me know, Canvas, inbox me, or post the questions on the question form if there are any further complications. And I'm gonna do the very best I can to get that resolved for you so you can gain access to those uh, uh, resources that came with your textbook. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, all right? So that pretty much does it for me. Let me know, and then I will see you guys later. Good luck studying, and uh, wishing you all the very best uh, this semester in in uh, succeed in succeeding in uh, biology. All right, sayonara.